Here you and I will be using our new Workstation 16 Pro to install a virtual machine on our laptop. We will have to find the operating system out on the internet. It has to be a .iso file. We will download that file to our laptop. We will use that file in Workstation. We will use it to create a Ubuntu machine. This means that we now have a shiny new Linux machine on our laptop. So let us bring up our browser and get our hands on this uh, Linux Ubuntu ISO file. Our download is running down here. So when we have the file downloaded, we will open up Workstation. I will go to Files or File, New Virtual Machine. We will create, a, we will do a typical installation. Now we have to browse to our download folder and find our newly downloaded brand new ISO file with our Ubuntu operating system in it. Open that one. Next. The username is the username for your Linux box. Type a password. Do I have to say that you have to remember your password? Be careful, remember your password. We will call our Ubuntu machine, Ubuntu underscore base. as this is going to be our base computer, our base Ubuntu that we later can clone. So we don't have to do this installation again and again. So we can simply clone the machine if we need a new one. I'll go for 15 gigabyte of maximum disk space. Make sure you use split virtual disk into multiple files. And there we have our new machine. You will have it over in your left side pane here. As I have a couple of machines, I have cheated a little bit. So I'll mark it as my favorite and I'll only list my favorites. And that's my only favorite by now. You will simply have it right away listed over here in the machines pane. Click it and it is selected. We can now power it on. While it is loading, you can read down here that there's something called open VM tools that need to be installed. And that is very handy. You can, you can go online and check what it is. We will do that later when we have internet access on our Ubuntu machine. As it is the first run of this machine, it takes quite some time to copy the files in and get them sorted for your operating system. And it is restarting. And finally, here we are. 
with our shiny new Subuntu machine. We remember our password. And kadaboom, here we have our Subuntu. As this is networking class, we will raise up and look up at our network connection. Connection information. <clears throat> and here we see our IPv4 address or broadcast, our broadcast address, subnet mask, default route, and even our primary DNS server. You'll probably not understand what all this is, but this is exactly what this course is about, understanding these figures here. In the next video, we will see how to control our internet connection and how to set it up on our laptop.